Good day everyone, Everest here. Today we're going to be looking at the 10 ugliest cars ever made. And trust me, most of them deserve this list. Coming in at number 10 is the 1990 Chrysler Imperial. Now, this car isn't horrible. It's it's not it's a bad looking car, don't get me wrong. It's a bad looking car, but it's not it's not terrible. This was a car primarily driven by gangsters and people who needed lots of trunk space for bodies. So, if you see one of these on the road, be aware. Coming in at number 9 is the Chevy SSR, one of the stu one of the stupidest cars I've ever seen. I really have a hatred for these cars because they're so ugly. I have a deep-rooted hatred for these. They're so ugly. I mean, this one looks like a banana. I think that's the color option that they chose for this one, banana. Um, but they're only going to rise in value because there are some people who want them. Beyond me, but, you know. Okay, number eight is the Volkswagen Fate... The... F the f number eight, the Volkswagen Phaeton. It's not... It's not bad looking. It could be worse. It's not bad. Number seven is the Lincoln Blackwood, and these, these trucks make no sense to me. So, Lincoln is, like, supposed to be the American, like, luxury brand, and as such, you don't necessarily want a luxury pickup truck. It's like the same thing with the Cadillac Escalade pickup truck, and I wonder if that's going to be on this list, but the Cadillac Escalade truck, it's so useless. Like, why would you want to even put, like, stuff, like gravel in the bed of a luxury car? It just doesn't make any sense, so that that's beyond me. Here we go, the Ford Mustang 2. That's not a bad car. I, I don't really understand. You know, if you decide that this is a bad looking car looking at it now, please post in the comments why you think it's ugly. I think it's a good looking car. It's classic. Come on. It's not bad. Number five on this list is the Nissan Murano Cross Cabriolet. <laughs> Now, what on earth was, was this made, was this designed by a drunk? Because I think, how many drunks are there in Japan? I mean, I know they've got like sake, but that's pretty much it. Um, come on, who designed this? But what they've done is they've taken a perfectly acceptable Nissan Murano, shortened it, and then chopped off the top and said, there's a, there's a new car. You, you wanted a new car, sir? Here's one right here. This is the stu this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Come on, you took a practical car and you've ruined it. Coming in at number four is the Cadillac Cimarron, I think. Uh, this car looks like it was designed with a pencil and a ruler. Everything is straight. All right, the grill, gotta make the grill straight. Straight lines, there we go. Headlights, let's make those straight. All right, the bumper, straight. The side, straight. The doors, straight. The windows, straight. Everything is straight. Number three, the 1961 Amphicar. Didn't people just start developing, like, drugs, like, you know, um, recreational drugs in the early 60s? Just putting that out there. Number two, the Pontiac Aztec. This is a... <laughs> This, this car is highly regarded as one of the stupidest, ugliest cars ever made. It really is, because it's so, so ugly. The Pontiac Aztec. I just can't understand what there's... What the, it sort of looks like a Prius that they've changed and worsened somehow. Uh, that's horrid. All right, now, cruising into number one, the Ford Pinto. Now, come on, the Ford Pinto... It's not a bad-looking car. Please, comment in the, in the comments. Ford Pinto. Is it a bad looking car? I don't necessarily think so. I think it's okay, especially in that color. That color's nice. It's like a tangerine. It's really nice. But, like the back. It looks practical, okay? It probably got pretty decent gas mileage for the time. The problem with the Pinto is that it was made out of, like, cardboard and staples. I mean, it was made out of, like, junk. So it was a junky car. But it doesn't look that bad. I don't think it should be on this list. I would put that on a decent car list. So, that about wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, like the video. If you liked the video, subscribe to my channel. If you liked the video, comment on the video. Uh, I will be putting more videos on the channel shortly. Until then, 